we got ants. From there, you will launch a coordinated assault. Ooh, you'll make me so mad. I'll give you such a chop. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet because I know you guys want those ants gone now. I have a quick, all natural, three ingredient recipe for you. But first, if you're new here, let me introduce myself. My name is Leanne. I'm a homemaker. I'm a full time RVer, traveling full time with my husband, two of my daughters, and our two dogs. I love creating videos about homemaking, RV travel, and RV living. So if that kind of content interests you, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ants in your RV or even in your house are a big problem. They're gross. I don't want them crawling on everything. I don't want them crawling on my food. I don't want them anywhere. I want them gone, you want them gone, we all want them gone. Getting rid of ants right now is all fine and dandy, but we want to prevent them from coming in in the first place. And I'm going to show you how later. First, you need to find out where they're coming in so you know where to place the bait. The easiest way to figure this out is to just follow the line of ants or just look and see where they're congregated mostly, where there's a bunch of ants, that's likely where they're coming in. Next, you're going to need water borax and sugar. And even though borax is a naturally occurring element, doesn't necessarily mean that it's harmless. Natural doesn't always mean harmless. So keep that in mind and you know, safety first. Borax has a relatively low toxicity rate for humans, but it is fatal for ants when they come into contact with it. It doesn't kill them immediately, so they will take it back to the queen and the rest of the colony, which makes it very effective for ant control. If you don't get rid of the queen, the ants are going to keep coming back. The sugar is used to initially attract the ants and then entice them to take it back to the rest of the colony. So what's the water for? I'm glad you asked. It's important that you use a variety of different ant baits to make sure that you eliminate the entire colony. So you need a solid ant bait and you need a liquid ant bait. Adult ants can't digest solids, but they will take solids back to the colony and ant larvae can process solid foods into a liquid that the queen will eat. And getting rid of the queen is key. And by the way, this method works for almost all ants, from sugar ants to fire ants to carpenter ants, because their digestive systems are all similar. So let's start with the solid bait. It's one part borax to two parts sugar. So all I did, because you don't need a whole lot, I did one tablespoon borax and two tablespoons sugar, and then I kept the rest in a jar just in case I need it again. For the liquid, you'll need a half a cup of sugar, one and a half tablespoons of borax, and one and a half cups warm water. And you'll just stir all those together until the borax and the sugar dissolve. I used some plastic mason jars and placed them both side by side and within hours the ants were feasting and they were gone by the next day. This is gold, right? If you agree, comment below with a gold star. And if you disagree, comment with a ant emoji. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Look at that sugar, you little bird. <laughs> This is the second time I've had to use this method in the RV. I did use it in our house once and it also, it worked like a charm. They never came back like two years. It, they never came back and we, and then we moved out and into the RV. So I don't know what happened after that, but <laughs> when we were there two years, they never came back anyway, because of moving and stuff constantly, you know, it just happens, but also not staying on top of our preventative measures. The only way to keep ants from coming inside is to use an insecticide outside and or inside. It just depends on the situation. We use Ortho Home Defense or pretty much any other generic brand that's similar to Ortho Home Defense. And this stuff works. We used to use it in Colorado. We'd get those little white scorpions would come in the house. And Cameron was a baby at the time. And I was the thought of just having a scorpion in her bed just terrified me. I, like I'm not having a scorpion biting on my baby. Jeff one time had one in his pants that were laying on the floor and he put him on the next morning and it bit him. Looking like a fool with your pants on the ground. I had one under my pillow. We had just gotten in bed and I stuck my hand or no, I stuck my arm up under my pillow and I felt something and it was a scorpion. So I found out that ortho home defense prevents them from getting in. Or if they do get in, it kills them. Because as soon as they walk over that barrier, it just kills them dead. So on the bottle, it says that it's supposed to last 12 months. But I'm skeptical. Because in Colorado with the scorpion situation, 
it was usually about three or four months. We wouldn't see any at all. And then all of a sudden we'd see one. And I was like, oh, we got a spray. So, uh, you know, the 12 months, I don't know about that. But maybe it's just the scorpions. Maybe they're just really hardy. And, you know, I don't know. So every time we get to a new spot, we try to go ahead and spray the perimeter of the RV. Okay, now don't come at me about your pets. It's not safe for pets. You're going to kill my dog. False. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. I know some people have concerns about that. I have pets. I want them to be safe too. That said, ortho home defense is safe for pets. It is for outdoor and indoor use. And once again, it is safe for pets. Just make sure you read the directions and use as directed. If you want to look more into the use of this insecticide with pets, I'll leave some information down in the description. I hope this video helps you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.